Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. It's time to have a look at another ground vehicle that was passed to developers. Now I missed this one off on the ground pass to developers because I wanted to give it its own video. It's the KMDB T84 BM Oplot T. This is the Royal Thai Army's MBT, based of course on the Ukrainian Oplot. Now, also, at the same time, one of the cool things about this vehicle is there is a fully functioning Oplot for the game already. It was in a user mission a while ago. I did a separate video talking about it and showing it. And in this video, what we'll do is we'll talk about it in Thai service, since, of course, one of the things that people are looking forward to is more Thai vehicles, since they have quite a lot of them. So let's have a look at the Oplot, its general history, and also its usage today in modern militaries. The post T-80 tank era witnessed a drive toward diesel alternatives due to the evident shortcomings of gas turbine engines. Initiating various projects in the mid-1970s, Leningrad Kirov Plant and Omsk Transport Engineering Design Bureau explored diesel options like the Object 219RD and the Object 644, respectively. However, the focus remained on the gas turbine engine, supported by Defense Minister Dmitry Ustinov. Simultaneously, Kharkiv Morozov Machine Building Design Bureau started work on the Object 278 with a 6 TD 1000 horsepower diesel engine. Yet it was overshadowed by the more advanced Object 476 and then later the Object 478M equipped with a more advanced set of systems, but abandoned due to cost concerns. Post Ustinov's demise in 1984, the Ministry of Defense turned serious about diesel-equipped T-80s. In 1985, the government approved the diesel-powered T-80U project, resulting in prototypes like the Object 478B and 478A. Despite initial issues, the 478B variant entered service known as the T-80UD in 1987, later showcased in the 1990s Moscow Victory Day Parade and the 1991 Soviet coup attempt. KMDB's initiatives led to developments like the T-84 Oplot, featuring a welded turret and advancements like the Object 478D with the ANET fire control system. The Object 478DU4 gave rise to the T-84 Oplot, which had the 125mm calibre gun replaced with a 120mm able to fire NATO ammunition. Trials and prototypes like the T-84-120, the Yatagan, for Turkey showed their efforts to adapt to NATO ammunition and also electronics. Before the USSR's dissolution, the Kharkiv factory continued its T-64 platform's development, eventually producing the T-80UD with an opposed piston diesel engine, which later evolved into the T-84. Over the 1990s, further enhancements led to the famously known BM Oplot with a ton of modernizations, including Western-derived technologies, solidifying its position as a formidable modernized Soviet-style tank. The Royal Thai Army's 2011 order for 49 Oplot T tanks faced delivery delays, leading to reports of a potential shift to the Chinese VT-4 tank by 2017. However, Ukron Boron Prom confirmed the successful uh, completion of the 2011 contract by March of 2018, finishing the delivery of the final batch to Thailand. The BM Oplot tank is a stronghold on tracks with high protection across three levels. APS, ERA, and also base armor. Its active protection, called VATA, de uh, derived from the T-90A's Stora system. Additionally to the strong protection, laser warning systems and non-damaging dazzlers strategically positioned to maintain the tank's armor integrity. A standout feature is the Duplet ERA, defending the front and sides against heat and also kinetic energy threats. However, its bulkiness necessitated a more compacted base armor, reduced to a three-layer configuration. The focus on protection also significantly increased the tank's weight, now being 51 tons, 
To compensate for this, the engineers integrated a 6TD2 diesel engine, delivering 1200 horsepower, akin to the T64's 5TDF, but providing a power to weight ratio of 23.5 horsepower per ton. This engine also features automated gear control, replacing tillers with a steering wheel, enabling neutral turns and featuring a gear reverser for several forward and full reverse gears. All in all, the tank is able to achieve speeds of up to 70 km an hour and also reversing at 35 km an hour. This resolves a key tactical limitation of prior Soviet-derived tanks. Enhancements in the fire control system are obvious, with the 1G46-M and PTT-2 thermal sight for the gunner. While capable of firing standard 125mm rounds, the BM Oplot features unique ammunition, notably the GLAT-GM, which functions as a laser beam rider, a tandem warhead, and also 750mm of penetration behind ERA. Furthermore, attempts to develop a more modern APFSDS round, the 3BM44U1 failed, as it unfortunately never went further than mock-up stage. However, some data regarding its intended performance exist, with approximately 630mm of pen, 1700m per second, which leaves it, at least as a potential, to turn up. The T84BM Oplot T is the export version made specifically for Thailand. This version has slight adjustments to align with local conditions and also needs. That's including changes in the radio communication system, air conditioning, and also potentially other unknown minor modifications. So the fact is, the Oplot is a pretty interesting vehicle, and it's one of those that has caused a lot of controversy when it comes to the game itself. And the reason why the controversy exists is because it's of Ukrainian origin, which is of Soviet origin, therefore a lot of people have talked about it being put into the Russian tree. But the problem with doing this is after the invasion of Ukraine, this has left a lot of people quite, um, well, I suppose, in a very, very uh, bad headspace for doing stuff like this, and I can't blame them at all. And it was kind of surprising with the T80UD coming in, there wasn't as much backlash as I thought there would be. So maybe the time for something like the Oplot being added to the Russian tree is here. But at the same time, the Oplot is one of those vehicles which was exported quite a lot. And it has a lot of really cool, unique features which could easily benefit a lot of different nations in the game. And if they decide to continue with this idea of adding Thailand to the Japanese tree, which would be really cool, uh, let's, you know, let's be honest, then that means the Oplot could rise in a different form. Benefit a tree, which it never looked like it was going to in the first place, and also people can enjoy it. They recently added the Type 90 Premium to make it easier for people to grind through the tech tree. They also added the new F5, which is a Thailand F5 to the Japanese tech tree. And as we all know, the Japanese really need a subtree or they need some kind of kick just to help them out in certain areas. And maybe Thailand is that. Maybe another nation is it either. But whatever nation gets the Oplot, it will definitely be a very big positive for it. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. I'd just like to thank Tulio Ponticorvo, Brendan Quinn, Carrion Crow, Gus Irenicus, Pyman, Wartinder, Teddy, Daniel Stanton, Martinez, B. Young, Alan Hacker, Ozzy Panzer, Liam Shear, Opium Prime, Lafouche, Cam Arslan, Uncle Bean, and Derek R. for supporting the channel.